In this video we're going to evaluate a trig integral and if you don't see what method to use here sometimes it helps to rewrite the, the integrand. For example here we have sine of x on top secant to the 50th power at the bottom and we know we can rewrite secant in terms of cosine because they're reciprocals. So secant is 1 over cosine so that means if I take the this up, it changes to cosine. We're multiplying the denominator and the numerator by cosecant or cosine to the 50th. We're going to have cosine of x to the 50th and sine of x as dx. And we know the derivative of cosine is minus sine. So this suggests a u substitution. We'll let u equal to cosine of x. So du will equal to the derivative of cosine, which is minus sine of x. And that's be dx. Let's solve this for sine x dx. So multiply by negative both sides. This gives minus du. And the right sign would be positive sign of x dx. And then we transform this integral into one involving the variable u. So this would be the integral of, and cosine, that's your u. So this would be u to the 50th. And sine of x dx over here, that's your minus du. I could put the minus either outside the integral or inside. Doesn't really matter. Minus there, du. And then we just integrate with respect to u. So it's just a matter of adding 1 to the 50 here. That's 51. Put the minus there. And then divide by 51. And you got the constant of integration. And as always, we go back to the original variable, which is x. In this case, u equals to cosine of x. So I'm going to write it this way. Cosine, I could put the 51 right here. I'll go ahead and put parentheses around it. Like that. Put the 51 here. In the denominator. And we still have the minus here plus the constant of integration. And this is your answer for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.